Peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I'm here to do a general reading for the collective. I will all as well. I will you all are blessed. I will everything is everything in your lives. Um, this is going to be a general reading, so my spill is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. No need to force the story to be your story. You are more than just your sun sign, so check your moon, your rising, your mercury, your Venus, your Mars. Just check your other placements for a more clear and concise message for you. Um, this is also timeless, so whenever you find yourself clicking on the video, that is exactly the divine timing intended for you all to do so. Um, I do want to call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, animal totems, earth, mother, guy, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards, and so it is, so mo it be, Ashe. To anyone who may be new, I too am a Scorpio. My name is Q, as I said. I am also um, intuitive, I'm empathic, and I am clairaudient. So I do incorporate music into the readings, and they tend to blend very beautifully with the messages uh, that come out from the tarot cards. Um, so we're going to use the numerology deck. We have intuition here on the bottom of the deck. So definitely use your intuition. The song that's playing right now is main source, and it just turned 7 o'clock. Seven is the crown chakra. So use your intuition. Some of you all may be receiving some downloads, transmissions, maybe some heavy dream activity. Maybe you're having lucid dreams. So pay attention to those things. Some of you may need to keep like a dream journal. Um, maybe you're seeing numbers. Maybe you're seeing certain animal totems. Look up the spiritual meanings of that. I also feel like some of you all are just having like a lot of downloads, like maybe you're having certain sensations like dull headaches. I know I get dull headaches. I've been having them um, as of recent. Um, so you may be having like dull headaches. You may be feeling like um, your eyes twitching. You may feel your ears are um, ringing. Um, you may feel a tickling on your nose. You may feel the hair stand up on your, um, you know, the back of your neck, on your arm. Um, that's usually when spirit is communicating with you. So I do feel like um, some of you all are receiving some divine download uh, and divine is trying to get your attention. So it's like pay a God because pay attention because God is trying to tell you something is what I'm gathering. Um, it sounds like you got abundance. Looks like you got abundance here. This is something you've manifested. I feel like that's probably why intuition was there, because it's like um, there's something coming in and you have to use discernment. You have to. Um, you have to be able to feel a situation out because the 16 reduces to seven also. So this is like the divine is rewarding you for something, rewarding you, or you're finally getting some sort of wish fulfillment or a miracle. Yeah, you're getting a miracle and wish fulfillment because you've persevered through some difficult times. Um, right now we have Nas and the name of this song is called War. So you've been through war and back. I'm hearing you've been through hell and high water Scorpios. Um, and this has been like emotional turmoil, pain, loss, anguish. Um, but I feel like you've persevered through all of that. So whatever it was that people were throwing at you, I feel like you was catching it, transmuting that shit and turning your pain into power. This is all green. So I do feel like you've worked very, very hard to get back into emotional equilibrium. So you really focused on the self. You really focused on self-discipline, self-love, self-care, knowing your self-worth. And in order to get all green, um, which you know, which speaks to you being uh, emotionally balanced, um, there had to be a lot of healing. Healing. I feel like you've rebuilt, you know, something was destroyed, whether it was a relationship, a friendship, something was tainted, a connection was tainted. Um, but I feel like you all have worked very hard to rebuild, to restructure, to re-strategize. And so now, you know, with this perseverance card, you, you, you know, the divine is, is saying that, you know, this abundance that's coming in is coming due in part to, you know, you being resilient and persevering through some difficulties that number four deals with the heart chakra so i feel like you know these were matters of the heart so dealing with pain and loss anguish um also you know disappointments um but healing from that recovering from that you know rejuvenating your spirit uh recuperating 
um, and revitalizing yourself. So there's abundance coming in. And this is something you've manifested. I feel like a lot of you know. You can feel it. You can sense it. You just don't know when, where, or how. That's why I feel like the divine was telling you to like pay attention to your dreams. Uh, because I do feel like a lot of you are um, being blissed because of what you've experienced. Okay? So let's see what else we got coming and going out, going on. Remember, we have Nas war playing. So, you know, I feel like there was also spiritual warfare. Um, you may have had people doing like hexes, voodoo, uh, black magic, you know, um, you know, some sort of hoodoo, juju, you know, type of ritual work, trying to cast spells. But I feel like you persevered through all of that. And I feel like your angels, your ancestors were very intricate in assisting you and helping you and just getting you out of that. Um, so let's see what else we have. Divine spirit of love and light. And so we have follow your dreams. So this is what a lot of you did to transmute the pain was you focused on like your, your skill sets, your talents, your goals, your dreams, your endeavors. Um, I feel like this is also saying like a dream is more than something you wake up from. So I do feel like, um, you know, this is telling you to like hone those skills, to master those, those skills, those talents, those gifts, revisit some of those hobbies you used to have so much fun, you've used to find so much joy um, in, in doing, you know, this is also speaking to you all uh, being alchemists, you know, transmuting, as I said, the pain, becoming co-creators with source, someone also could be, um, you know, dreaming of you, or you could be dreaming of someone, and it's like spirit is leading or guiding someone towards their uh, significant other, their divine counterpart. And this is the number 13 also. So I do feel like, you know, 13 reduces to four. Um, so I do feel like this could be like a yin yang twin flame situation uh, because someone is, is, is um, you know, following their dreams, which is leading them to, you know, something that's going to bring joy and happiness. This is pink inside of the follow your dreams. So this is like going to make someone very happy, very elated. So what else we have for Scorpios? What additional messages do we have for Scorpios, divine spirit of love and light? What additional messages of love and light? Thank you, spirit. And the bottom of the deck, we have love. So I can't make this shit up. So you have love coming in. You have someone that may express their feelings of love. This could be someone from your past. Because um, this is making me think of like the Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups usually speaks to and chimes in on and picks up on the energy of someone from your past returning. Someone who has re dis you know, discovered uh, that they have this affinity, this attraction, this love for you. And because it's all blue, blue is the color of the... Um, the throat chakra, but the number six represents the first eye. So I feel like somebody could be sending you messages telepathically, um, communicating to you, like I said, in the 5D, which is the dream world. You may visit this person. They may visit you. Um, there's just this beautiful connection you have with someone. But I feel like somebody is absolutely going to muster up the strength to come towards you to express these feelings. Um, we have Kendrick Lamar. And this is called money trees. So I do feel like uh, because it's, it says money trees, I feel like this person feels that like they see your worth. You know, they see you as someone that could um, definitely compliment them in many ways. You know what I'm saying? This is somebody who's also um, very well, you know, well off. Like, they, you know, they could be very um, successful in whatever it is they do. Uh, they could be somebody who's very goal oriented. Um, it was just 707 on the clock um, and 707, that's 14, that's five. So they do want to express these love, this love, you know, uh, trees also represent, you know, strength. So maybe they're mustering up the strength. Uh, they represent wisdom. You know, they're very ancient. Um, so I feel like this person is using telepathic or intuitive means to communicate you know maybe that's what you're picking up on this person sees you as very strong as well so the bottom of the deck we have um this was um love so uh, i put it there but this is what's on the bottom of the deck is the love so this person has a lot of love for you so next we have self-love and they love you because you discovered that self-love makes you more attractive so a lot of you are really really um Super protective of your energy. I feel like you're really in a space where you have created boundaries. Um, you have your guard up. 
um, and you've created like almost like a safe haven um, just to protect your peace, you know, to protect your peace of mind. You know what I'm saying? Um, I also feel like this person's drawn to you and attracted to you. Um, and as I said, you know, there's there's a desire to communicate. The 61 reduces to seven. So I, I feel like, you know, their their only means to communicate may be through um, the 5D. You know, this person may be, um, may be communicating with you um, in the astral plane also. But I see here, you know, with self-love, um, this is also speaking to you really moving to the beat of your own drum, um, embracing your sexuality, your sensuality, um, just your divine femininity, divine masculinity. Um, that's beautiful. And so we have communication. So somebody will communicate. You know, they're just trying to muster up the strength, as I said. This is all yellow. So yellow deals with the solar plexus. And the solar plexus represents strength. So as I said, this person is trying to muster up the strength to come towards you. Uh, because they see that you have, you know, your guard up. You're very protective of your energy. So it's like they know that they can't just come in and say, you know, any old ignorant shit. They have to come to you right and exact. So this person with the number 33, they're trying to tap into their intuition. This is that person that has that love. That's six there also, you know. So they're trying to send you psychic messages. I feel this is a spiritual union. You know, I feel this is a very powerful spiritual union. And we have 44 environment. So the environment, I feel somebody is perhaps in a situation, in a circumstance that they're trying to get out of. Um, I feel like also, you know, someone may be um, a little apprehensive. And this could be uh, due in part to how they were raised. Maybe they're not as expressive. Maybe they're not as emotionally intelligent or inclined. So it may take them a little while longer. Maybe they're trying to uh, ground themselves. But they are receiving messages from spirit to communicate. You know, the number 44. Um, so you have four and then you have 44. So I do feel like 444. Four, four. Some of you all may be seeing 444 four, four a lot. You know, maybe this is, um, you know, a number that you are constantly um, bumping into and I feel like it's because your ancestors are communicating with you are trying to grasp your attention remember intuition open up the reading so it's like you're receiving divine downloads transmissions it's in regards to love it's in regards to money and with money trees and that abundance card I feel like you have blessings that are showering upon you all and I feel like you have to keep the lines of commotion, communication open, like you have to be receptive uh, because I feel like there is going to be some opportunity to heal a connection 66 here. So you have 334466. Four, six. So some of you all may be seeing 3334466 six, six, everywhere you go. And 66, that represents, um, you know, sixes are about balance, harmony. And I feel like, you know, as I said, some of you all have... Um, found your mojo mojo you know you really um went to the root cause healed yourselves you're back in emotional equilibrium you focused on healing thyself and as you heal that self you begin to love that self and when you love that self you then learn you know who you are what you like what you desire and you radiate you know this confidence you know this this draws the attention the attraction of others but i feel like you know someone being that this is another all blue card just like this I feel like somebody is also going through some major um, changes and transformation and we have 666 so this can be like your divine feminine masculine 666 reduces to 18 that's nine so there's a positive change coming in but I feel like you know right now there's there's um, necessary changes taking place as I said it's 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 rooted in healing and I feel somebody is definitely going to communicate. And we have um, Aaliyah, if your girl only knew. So maybe somebody is, um, like I said, in an environment, you know, where they are, you know, trying to break free. You know, so they're trying to break free from perhaps a karmic, trying to break free from a situation because their environment, um, it requires healing. So something was toxic within that environment. Something was a challenge. You know, and they are 
trusting in their ability to um, manifest something new. You know, uh, this 44 reduces to eight, so that's like the number of the star card. So it's like they're sending up prayers, petitions, affirmations, or this is someone's prayers, petitions, affirmations coming true, wish fulfillment. The 66 breaks down to 12, that's three. So I do feel like this person, um, you know, either you've been manifesting them or they've been manifesting you. But I feel like there's just this, like, it's it's just in limbo because there's no communication. There's no conversations, only in, you know, the 5D. I feel like this is where all communication and all activity, honestly, is, is taking place, you know. And if your girl only knew. So somebody really... Um, you know, maybe this is your sentiment, like, you know, if somebody does reach out and communicate with you, uh, maybe your intimate, you know, your your um, your sentiment is going to be like, if your girl knew that you was calling me, she would kill your ass. Like, or if your man knew that you was reaching out to me, he would, you know, and I don't even want to play with kill because some people are crazy enough to, you know, be that obsessive and possessive over another person. But you know what I mean? Like, you know, somebody is just definitely like, you know, bringing to light the situation, like, you know, why are you reaching out and you still attached? The divine wants someone to surrender, to stop trying to control. Something is done, 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 fin. You know, this 91 reduces to 10, but every ending denotes a new beginning. That's why the divine is telling someone, you got to surrender, you know, surrender, heal thyself and surrender to the new beginning that could spark. You know, this is about somebody trusting their intuition and not trying to control the narrative or control the circumstance because they already are hiding their love, their deep attraction, and the fact that they feel that someone is like a twin flame, a soulmate. And so instead of hiding from it, running from it, they need to surrender. So look at this, past life. This is a twin flame, as I said. This is like yin-yang energy. So Scorpios, y'all have definitely someone that you feel very passionate about and who also feels very passionate about you. This person is ready to take a leap of faith. And I feel like, you know, but somebody is still, you know, attached and they need to cut themselves free from that karmic, cut themselves free from that situation. And they need to surrender to, you know, departing that relationship. You know, that is um, a red card. So this, you know, maybe they're in the relationship for stability, for security. Maybe they're in there for superficial reasons. Um, you know, family, friends, uh, friends are um, influential in this as well. And so they are not following their intuition. They're following, you know, the instruction of those around them. And the divine is like, nah, surrender to me. Surrender to me, you know, and heal thyself. See that? I said you all were guarded and had boundaries. So trust your intuition. Again, this is inner wisdom. So this is like, you know, that card said intuition when we first pulled, um, you know, started the read. So I do feel like the divine is reminding you all to use your intuition. 18, 18 on the clock. So that's nine. So there is a positive change that could take place. You may have options also. And with surrender here, I feel like somebody will finally surrender um, and perhaps communicate, surrender and take action. Because remember, the train went by, so I was feeling like, you know, somebody um, could be at a distance, perhaps. Maybe somebody's at a distance. All right. And was that this reading? Because I did start another reading and then the video crapped out. So maybe that's what I was picking up on in another reading. So we have fairness. So balance is being restored. Things are being handled fairly and justly. That's why you have perseverance here. That's why that abundance card was there because now there's, you know, good things coming in for you. It's like you're now being bliss. We have Nas made you look. So something's really going to capture um, your attention, you know, and it's the fairness. I feel like it's the way that the divine works the situation out for you. You're going to feel very balanced. You're going to feel very elated. The situation is being handled fairly and the divine wants you to just trust the process given to, you know, just, just, you know, release the need to control, just trust, focus on self-love, use your intuition, trust in divine timing. So why is self-love here? Thank you, spirit. And so we have receptivity. I can't make this up. So when you love yourself, you know, you attract 
you know, the attention of others. And the divine is saying, your self-love is like, it's, it's making you more attractive. So in order for you to receive the love that you are attracting, you have to be open to it. You can't have your guard up, you know, in, in regards to love. Like you have to be open to receive it. Next, we have bodies of water. So somebody is seeking guidance. Somebody is trying to figure out how to let something go so that they can receive something new. So this is about releasing, purging, detoxifying. This is about banishing, you know, negativities. This is about doing spiritual baths, cleaning, clearing, cleansing, purging, letting go. And then once someone does, they get some sort of epiphany, some sort of download. Maybe somebody had been, you know, impacting someone's ability to see things clearly. But I feel like, you know, with this water, there is a need for someone to disconnect you know, from the outside world to detach, to disengage, and to go within. And going within is just by, you know, spending time by bodies of water, out in nature, taking walks, just doing things more rooted in grounding yourself. Because I feel like there's a lot of answers, there's a lot of divine downloads and transmissions that will come through, because this is 33, that is the sixth chakra, which is your first eye chakra. So it's like, and water is... Um, you know, it, it's an element of, um, which speaks to intuition, um, emotion, psychic abilities. So I feel like there could be more communication. And we have Artemis is clarifying environment. So some of you all who may have like secret enemies, people jealous, people who are envious, people who are deceptive, snakes, you know what I'm saying? You have spiritual protection from those in individuals within your environment i feel like your angels protect you guide you and they also um have helped to heal you from certain disappointments and betrayals from the past i feel like as i said you all turned into the alchemist to that magi and you had to heal thyself because remember you had fake in the funk playing earlier and fake in the funk is like you know having like a lot of fufu energy a lot of ne uh, negativity and then you also had war. So there was like spiritual warfare. And, and that's why Artemis is reminding you that you are spiritually protected there. So you're protected from those snakes, from those negative um, Nancys and Debbie Downers. You know, some of these people were um, addicts because we have, um, who is this? I'm not sure who that is, but the name of that song it's called once an addict. So I feel like these people, you know, may be very like, um, I'm hearing the word addicted. So when I hear addict, I'm hearing they're addicted. So maybe, you know, again, that's obsession, jealousy, envy, you know, cause this is what's within your environment so that your environment could literally be like your place of employment. You know, um, it could be your neighborhood, your neighbors um, could be those, you know, that are um, sending those shots. This could also be your family. Um, maybe somebody is dealing with, you know, um, some sort of hating ass, um, ex and, you know, their angels and ancestors are protecting them because somebody could be doing some sort of like love spells. Uh, there was a codependent relationship and that's why healing is necessary. Healing is required because someone forgot how to be independent. Someone forgot how to stand erect, stand alone. Um, your foundation of your stability, you know, and your security, your happiness is always rooted in your independence. And so I feel like, you know, that's what somebody is healing from, you know, standing their ground, learning to, you know, speak their truth, say how they feel, um, but also be independent of another person. So why is healing here, Divine Spirit of Love and Light? Thank you, Spirit. So they got to be bold, you know, you got to be bold. This is about being bold, being daring, taking risks, not doing things, um, you know, just doing the e taking the easy way out. This is about like, you know, like when you heal thyself, you know, this this will free you from any faulty belief systems, any faulty ideologies, any fake, you know, um, not even fake, but any illusion. You know, and so qu 
quiet time on the bottom of the deck. So some of you all need to go into meditation. That's why that bodies of water is there because I do feel like the divine is blessing you with some divine downloads that you all um, need. And I remember I was going in on some of the sensations you all may be picking up. So with this Rhiannon card, this is your energy, psychic, intuitive. Remember, you had um, receptivity. And so you got to be open in order to receive the messages. But you have to surrender your need to control the narrative. Uh, because I feel like, you know, something you've asked for is manifesting. You all are very powerful in manifesting. And you have peace here on the bottom of the deck. So it's like, you know, there's nothing for you all to worry about. Uh, because I feel like things are being handled for you fairly and justly. Um, I just feel that, you know, some of you all may need to, um, you know, go back to the drawing board in terms of, you know, family, friends, you know, the people you have around you. Because there are, um, I feel like there's some folks that literally could be trying to sabotage, sabotage some new beginning, some new start some new opportunity. We have destiny here. So destiny is really like, you know, that's the wheel of fortune. So things are turning around in your favor. You're coming out of, you know, this hermit mode, or maybe there's a little more time needed um, in order for you to discover and search for your destiny. It's like you are seeing something clear. You know, the hermit mode is, is a very studious energy. This is like soul searching, deep diving, you know, discovering your, you know, self-discovery even. Um, but this is also about, you know, planning, preparing, and releasing what no longer serves you. So it's like, you know, you're reflecting on the past, reflecting on your circumstance, and moving forward in a new direction that's going to be more beneficial. So that was like literally, you know, maybe that's the energy that somebody's coming in. Maybe they were, um, you know, they ghosted you. Maybe they set up boundaries of some sort and that's why the divine is saying to be receptive be open because maybe somebody's coming in and the divine wants you to surrender and they're telling you to unleash your adventurous side so maybe you know some of you are all are very reserved and we have got to uh get to step in and that's by high tech so see this we have um conflict and defeat so this is what i feel like a lot of you all are you had to persevere from, you know, something that was very um, conflicting for you. You felt defeated. You felt broken down. You felt betrayed, used, abused. You know, you felt attacked. You felt demeanored, you know, belittled, disrespected, dishonored, disre you know, like disregarded. But I feel like, you know, with patience, you, you literally, you know, climbed out of that space because you focused on self-love, you know, with patience and planning. I feel like a lot of you just really focused on healing thyself. And in healing thyself, you've began, you know, learning to love yourself some more. But I feel like because you were, you know, feeling this conflict, this defeat, it has led to you building up a wall, you know, building up a wall so high that it's hard for others to break down. And it's because of you feeling devalued and mis, you know, disrespected in the past. So I feel like that's why the divine is reminding you that receptivity is the only way that you can receive. Receptivity is the only way that you can, you know, access, you know, the love that you desire. You know, so you have to be very mindful not to have your guard so high up. You know, so let's see. My spirit. Ooh. Okay, thank you spirit. So they gave me my messages putting these back in because they're face down give my cards a bang bang boogie and so what we have here spiritual strength so you built your spiritual strength as you were learning to heal that self just like i said you turned your pain into power that's why that perseverance card was there that's why fairness mama ma is there because it's all about what you put out into the universe you get back and you've built your spiritual strength so you are very guarded you are very protected this number nine is definitely, you know, that it's the positive changes that you've, you know, implemented in the self, you know. But you just have to be mindful to not close everything, everyone off. Use discernment. Use your intuition. We have harmony here. So didn't I say you had a divine counterpart, divine connection? This is another six. 
and this 33 is also six. So this is that person that will bring harmony, balance, love, joy, peace into your life. And I feel like there's heavy, there's deep emotion here. There's deep emotion, deep attraction, deep chemistry, synergy. And I feel like the two of you are not communicating. Like I said, this is uh, telepathic messages because this 33 is the number six, which deals with the first eye chakra. So I do feel like, you know, the two of you have, you know, already discovered this love, this attraction. And we have um, positive force. So there is a positive force. And the name of this song is um, Everybody Get On Up. So positive force. There's a positive force bringing this union together. There's a positive force um, that allows you and this person to communicate telepathically and intuitively. Um, I feel like this person uh, may also ask um, or invite you, um, you know, to a date um, to go on a date and they may take you to a body of water. So they may take you on like a boat ride. Um, they may take you to the beach, you know, but there's a lot of love here. The number six, this is like the lovers. Um, so this is like that yang to your yin, yin to your yang. This is a very beautiful uh, spiritual connection. This person does communicate with you uh, telepathically and intuitively. And they also visit you in your dreams. There's heavy um, dream activity. Next, you have wish fulfillment. So you are being blissed, you know, for, you know, persevering, for being resilient, you know, when things were difficult. I feel like your ancestors, your angels are protecting some sort of wish fulfillment, some sort of blessing that's uh, meant for you. Because there's a possibility that someone within your environment is trying to block it. And so Artemis is here, you know, so there's like, emotional fulfillment there's also material prosperity abundance and joy this is the number nine so i feel like a lot of your hard work is paying off which is why your angels and guides are protecting you and remember you know um with guardian and then you have 44 44 is that number of you know the angels 444 four, four. so whenever you see that that lets you know your angels are communicating with you but this four is also the number eight, which is the star card. So that eight is, you know, wish fulfillment. Um, blessings being showered upon you. Prayers being answered. Miracles taking place. And we see that confirmed here. And it is protected. So it's like this is divinely meant for you. You are going to be blessed. Going to be um, elated. Um, and we have solar plexus. So your solar plexus, as I said, that number 33... You know, solar plexus represent, you know, your strength, your courage, your gut instinct, your your gut, um, your gumption, you know. Um, and I feel like you all are definitely picking up and feeling the energy, the sensation that someone is coming in, that communication is coming in. Um, but I also feel like there's some sort of enlightenment, some sort of truth, some sort of clarity, you know. Just taking your power back. This is what self-discipline is. You know, when you can um, heal, you know, your solar plexus um, and trust that intuition, that inner gumption, it leads to, you know, success. And so it's 3333 three, three, three on the clock right now. So as I said, some of you all may be seeing 333, three, 444. Four, four. Some of you may be seeing 666, six, six, um, 777, 999. But I feel like um, with this three, I do feel like you've manifested this. I feel like you all absolutely like transmuted um, some sort of painful situation and turned it into a powerful one. Um, and I do feel like, you know, there is a need to, um, you know, somebody's mustering up the strength, courage and wisdom to come back to heal this connection because they feel very deeply for you. They love you. Um, and they're going to be bold. You know, this person knows they need to communicate. They know they need to express these feelings. Uh, because remember with positive force playing and it says people get on up. That's what it's called. I said, everybody get on up. So this person is trying to, um, come towards you positively. Um, you know, and with that, 12 breaking down to three see that so emotional withdrawal so they're healing this is exactly what healing looks like you know detaching from everything you know and this person is being um 
protected by spirit. You can see these footsteps here. And these are large footsteps. So this person is, you know, withdrawing emotionally because this is like that hermit mode also. But this is walking away from a relationship, a connection that's very toxic. You know, something within that person's environment is causing them emotional pain, loss, anguish, frustration. And so they're seeking answers. Remember, bodies of water. And it's becoming clear, you know, which direction this person needs to go in. Maybe they're longing for this connection and they need to take, you know, action because they're a little intimidated. But somebody is spending time by bodies of water and they're thinking of you, Scorpio. And they're realizing that, you know, in order for this relationship to take off, for them to come into harmony, back into union with you, they're going to have to be bold. And they're going to have to trust the stirrings of their heart, which is propelling them to come towards you, which is propelling them to communicate with you. And so what they're doing is they're communicating, like I said, telepathically, intuitively. See this? Memories of love. I can't make this shit up. So this person has a lot of love for you. This is the six. This is someone from your past, I feel. Someone that you have history with. I feel this person holds on to this connection. They feel a lot of love, a lot of passion. There's a lot of green here. Someone feels you're their wish fulfillment. Someone feels that you emotionally fulfill them. They feel fulfilled with you. And this person is very drawn to you, very attracted to you. Um, and they're being told, like, it's like, and, and they're surrendering to this. You know, so that someone's manifesting this. I don't know, Scorpios, you may have manifested this person back because I do feel like, you know, especially with surrender, the divine is telling you surrender because this is what you've asked for. As sorceress, I feel this is your energy because spiritual strength came out. So I also am sensing strongly mirroring, mirroring, mirroring. Everything is mirroring. You got two nines, you got two, um, you got three, three, four, four, six, six. You have spiritual strength. You have Rhiannon, which is the sorceress energy. And this is a part of your karma. This is destined to take place. And destiny was on the bottom of the deck when we first picked up the deck. And you have memories of love. Someone from your past is returning. They want to reconcile. They want to heal this connection. This is somebody who I feel like um, a connection fizzled out, died. Because you just had, um, that was Notorious B.I.G. And it's um, Life After Death intro. So I do feel like this person definitely wants to, um, wanting to repair, wanting to reconcile. That could be another reason why that three solar plexus was there. Because they're trying to muster up the strength, courage, and wisdom to communicate this, to express this. Because remember, you had love, and now we got memories of love. So somebody is spending that time by the bodies of water, which is absolutely, um, you know, awakening them to how deeply they feel. To how deep their emotions are for you. And we have um, Oye. Oye como va. And so that means like what's up with you. So somebody might. Um, you know literally. Oye como va. I believe it's like. How you doing or what's good. It's like somebody's you know like what's up with you. Or how you doing. Something to that degree. Um, that's Spanish. One of my Spanish um, soul family members. Just confirm that for me. <laughs> I could Google it, but I don't want to do that. So we got shadow side. See that? Somebody needs to surrender. They need to do their shadow work. They need to heal. Somebody is mirroring you. I do feel like this is a soulmate, soul connection. You all are being recognized and rewarded, just as I said. That's why my Mama Ma Aunt showed up. Because of your hard work and effort to get to this point of, you know, having self-love, knowing your worth. You know, being very successful in what you're doing. I feel like you're being blessed. You're being rewarded. You're being acknowledged for your hard work, for your efforts, Scorpios. That's beautiful. And on the bottom of the deck I'm going to be using next is financial freedom and success here. So you all have really experienced a lot of success. Somebody has to walk away from something. I feel you all have completed a cycle as well. And that's why you're able to come into this union. But somebody's going to, like, pop up. I feel somebody's going to surprise you. You know, I feel like somebody's literally going to pop up out of nowhere. And this is a secret admirer. This is somebody who's been watching you from afar. Somebody who cannot get you off their mind, cannot stop thinking about you, you know, because you are in the spotlight. So they could be watching you get some sort of success. Or, you know, have some sort of success, have some sort of, you know, 
some sort of um, recognition. Look what you got on the bottom of the deck. You got recognition and reward and material harvest. So you all are blissed beyond measure. There's there's this un you know underlying energy of abundance coming in. Remember, the abundance card was the first card um, that we saw. You know, so it's like you are manifesting some sort of blessing, some sort of opportunity. And this nine and three represents um, that rep reduces to twelve. So that reduces to three. So you have been manifesting this. And these are things you've been calling in, um, as I said, as this sorceress. You know, so you've been setting intention, you know, and with the shadow work, I feel like, you know, a lot of you have done your shadow work, which is why you're manifesting the success. But you radiate love and light. So someone does see you as wish fulfillment. They see you as beautiful. Whereas you have others who are preying on your downfall, people who are snakes, people who are jealous, people who are, you know, trying to cause this conflict and anguish, you know, people who are trying to uh, send some sort of shots, but your angels are spiritually protecting you and protecting this union. You got a lot of liars around you, so be mindful, you know, trust the energy, the intuition. Um, that could be why you're very guarded as well. Baba Ogun, so some of you all work with Baba Ogun, uh, that he brings victories and success, and I see that here, especially with the double sixes, you know, I do see, you know, and the fulfillment of wishes here, so you do have some sort of victory coming through for you, and I feel like, you know, even in your business, even in your career, you're going to see a lot of, um, a lot of blessings, all right, so let's go ahead, cut the deck. Clarify these messages and then we're going to wrap it up. So you got an extra message. So accept the apology you never received and take your power back now. So I feel like that's absolutely what you did before. I feel like a lot of y'all was feeling defeated and stuck, and, you know, in this sunken place for a while. But you persevered through that. You focused on the self. You know, something was destroyed, rebuilt, but you, you know, I mean, something was destroyed, but you rebuilt. And um, because you've rebuilt with integrity, you know, because you remain righteous and just in your act, that's um, in your actions. I feel like that's why now you're receiving a lot of rewards, a lot of recognition from spirit. And it's because, you know, whoever uh, betrayed you, deceived you, they never even apologized. There was no communication, you know, they didn't even have the, 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 the you know, they didn't even have the, the decency to, to, um, to apologize and so you said I don't fuck with you this is why you got um, receptivity here because you set your guard up this is someone very guarded someone very um, blocked off uh, someone who has detached um, some of you all may have moved away like physically moved away and we have Layla James um, it says a change is gonna come so I do feel like something is changing something shifting and that's why the divine is telling you like look you got to be um, receptive you got to be open because what's changing is, you know, there's new love opportunities that's presenting themselves. There's blessings that's showering themselves upon you. And when you're so closed off, you won't be able to receive. So, you know, a part of being um, spiritually strong is also being able to pick up on the energy, the intuition. Um, and you have crazy deranged. So somebody is very obsessed, very calculated, very um, sneaky. I feel somebody's wearing a false mask because remember, faking the funk and then we saw war. So somebody's trying to bring some sort of spiritual war to you. But your guardians, angels, ancestors are protecting you. They're, they're, they're jealous because you're very beautiful. You're very attractive. And you're also very spiritual. So this self-love makes you more attractive. And so you walking around here, y'all, you know, you Scorpios looking like the divine feminine and masculine. And on top of that, you're very... Uh, powerful, your master manifestors, but you're also very guarded. And the divine wants to remind you to be, you know, be open, you know, because you're going to attract a lot of amazing things to you. It's like literally right now, you're a magnet to whatever it is you want, to whatever it is you desire. It's like you're a magnet to that shit. So you have to be open. You're very attractive. See that? You, you're seen as a shining star. So someone definitely um, sees you as wish fulfillment. This is somebody who's definitely paying attention to whatever you do. Um, this person has taken the time 
to assess the situation. They may, they may go to a body of water and just, you know, collect their thoughts, you know, and, and what constantly, um, what they constantly see running, running around their mind is you, is this union, is this connection. This person has tried so desperately to release this connection, this feeling, but they can't. And so that's why you feel their their energies because you are constantly um, they carry you in their spirit is what I'm hearing, and it's because they feel this this chemistry this synergy with you this love this attraction. So why is communication, solace, bodies of water and harmony here? Divine spirit of love and light. You have a message of love and light. Thank you, spirit. It fell on the floor. So this is someone from your past that has and holds a lot of regret and remorse because it's almost like they let love slip away. And the name of this is a change is going to come. So this person wants to change the situation. I feel the change that's going to come is they're eventually going to reach out and communicate. So there's going to be a change in the communication. They're going to go from communicating with you telepathically to actually oh, turning, you know, to, um, reaching out via the phone, a text, an email, maybe inboxing you. But there will be um, a confession, you know. This person will express how they feel. This person will, you know, um, confess like, you know, I'm, I'm deeply, you know, in love with you. I feel like this is going to catch some of y'all by surprise. They see the role they play, you know, with be healthy. This person just wants to be happy, healthy, you know, and they are in an environment that is not allotting that. They're not, you know, in an environment that is encouraging that. And so, you know, with this wish fulfillment, I feel like something beautiful is unfolding. Remember the dreams, um, you know, um, that card came up. So I do feel like this person is going to shoot their shot. The divine is, is kind of telling someone to shoot their shot, especially when it comes to love. Like, you know, don't sit on this idea any longer. Like you're going to miss the boat. So this 44, all the prayers, petitions they've sent up. It's like spirit is like, okay, we heard your prayers and petitions and we're granting you this wish, but you have to take action as well. You know, this person does have a lot of passion, a lot of fire, a lot of attraction. And we have Granit should I. So this person is wanting to know if they should send this message. You know, if they should reach out because they do want to open up the lines of, um, you know, having some sort of healthy dialogue. But maybe they're just trying to strategize how. So why is um, environment Artemis? And fulfillment of wishes here for our beloved Scorpios, uh, Spirit of Love and Light. Why is environment Artemis wish fulfillment here? See that? That's why. Because they was acting like a child in the past. Being very childish, being very immature, running from the situation. And as I was picking up, they're products of their environment. Maybe they didn't learn you know, how to, I don't want to say how to court women, but maybe they had a completely different love language. You know, maybe this person um, didn't fully allow themselves to be vulnerable in relationships because they felt like vulnerability and emotion and communicating, all of those things were like feminine um, characteristics. So this person is, you know, looking at this situation um, differently now. You know, realizing that you were wish fulfillment, realizing that you are um, absolutely, you know, that that gem, that diamond in the rough. Um, you're a treasure. You know, you can see this treasure chest. So they do feel like you're a gift, a blessing. And they do see, you know, like I said, that they were very childish, very immature. Um, and that's why they're saying, should I should I reach out? Should I call? And it's like, yeah, to clear the air. And it says good things take time to create. And it says, patience, young grasshopper. So, yeah, this if they want to rectify the situation, it's going to require them to, um, you know, to really center themselves, to really heal themselves, and then take action. Um, you know, to, to not be afraid, you know. Fear is nothing more than false expectations appearing real. They need to be more daring, more risky, more bold. Um, and I feel like they're mustering up the strength, courage, and wisdom on how to do that. You know, it's almost like they're going straight to source and, you know, they're confessing and communicating with source and sources in return, helping to heal them, you know, bringing certain um, bringing certain behaviors um, to light, you know, kind of showing them, 
like where they were being childish, what they did to sabotage this connection, you know, and they're starting to see that now. They're starting to, to see the error in their ways. So, you know, patience is a form of action. So I feel like this person is healing themselves the same way you've had to heal yourself. And now you're in a space where you have self-love. Um, and I feel like that's what this person is now doing because I do feel like this is a sense of like, um, you know, like um, you're dealing with a twin who is still has attachments. And so they're trying to get rid of the attachments. They're trying to um, break free, you know, from the attachments. Uh, we have crazy deranged. So they may have a, a crazy karmic that refuses to let the situation go. Um, you know, with surrender, this person needs to, because it says, should I stay or should I go? And so they need to surrender to the divine, surrender to what they deeply desire. You know, the divine is telling them, like, you know, you, you have to trust your own in, intuition, you know, because this, this energy, this shadow work, and this crazy deranged person, this is somebody, you know, like I said, that could be obsessed, you know, somebody very toxic. And that's why the angels are, you know, spiritually protecting. I feel not only this person or not only just you, but this union, because I do feel like this is like a divine counterpart. So why is surrender, sorceress? See, they need to block out somebody. They need to block someone and they need to um, surrender, you know, surrender to the divine, surrender to the new because this 91 reduces to 10 excuse me and 10 reduces to one so they need to surrender to a new beginning this shadow work that they're doing they need to take those deep dives they need to heal that self this is the highest number of change 81 reduces to nine or 18 reduces to nine so somebody is definitely um you know kind of uh dealing with that dark night of the soul energy um, dealing with attachments, dealing with addictions, uh, because when you're doing shadow work, it's like you're, you're dealing with the, you know, the dark side and the dark side is where, you know, a lot of, um, you know, a lot of that healing is required, you know, changing certain faulty belief systems, habits, um, changing certain circle of friends, changing jobs, changing your environment because of the negativity, um, and I feel like, you know, this is what somebody needs to do. Block, block, a block, a block. They need to block some darkness out of their life. Some attachments need to be cut off. Um, maybe a karmic needs to be cut free. Um, you are beauty in every fashion of the word. So I do feel like, again, um, especially with Mama Oshun, this person is drawn to you and very deeply attracted to you. Um, and we have Nipsey Hussle. And this is called... Um, Oh, it says whose house. So, yeah, this person is still stuck in a karmic relationship and they still reside in that person's home. They share a home. They share, they share bills. There's some, some level of um, codependency here is what I'm picking up. But I feel like their attraction, their passion, this chemistry they feel with you, you know, is what's literally drawing them to you. You know, and then we have be healthy here. See this? And the divine is saying it's not what you think further investigation needed. But you do have a secret admirer. And they do have somebody else, you know, that they are dealing with that's in their energy. And they're needing to do their due diligence to break free from that because I feel like that's what the attachment is all about. That's why this person can't come to you because they're still attached to someone else, which is why the divine is reminding them to be bold, to take emotional, you know, to, to emotionally withdraw and to heal themselves and to surrender to the divine and stop trying to control the narrative. You know what I'm talking about? So, you know, this is the energy I'm seeing and picking up. So let's get some messages. Um, and I said that I, I just saw the Empress and then we have the two of cups. So as I said, divine feminine, divine masculine energy. This is a divine union, a chemistry, a, a, a synergy. This is somebody that's coming in completely healed and ready and fully prepared. You both are giving one another a full cup of love. So that means you both are emotionally equally 
um, emotionally in equilibrium. So that's beautiful. All right. So the two of cups came back out. So this is what this person is wanted, wanting to do. You know, they're wanting to extend this love offer to you. Somebody truly wants to give you the love. They see your, your worth, your value. They see you as very beautiful, royal, regal, very self-sufficient, independent, co, um, you know, self-reliant. They can see you as a counterpart. They can see you, you know, this is like pre-emperor status. But they see you as someone who, you know, is very do um, domestic, very resourceful, very practical. Someone who can, you know, handle things on their own. Okay. And um, you wrapped up a cycle and they're having to wrap up a cycle. There could also be distance. I feel this person is at a distance from you. And I feel this person is um, absolutely coming towards you. There's a new opportunity. Look what showed right back up, the Empress. And not only did the Empress show up, let me show you what else I got. Empress, these are all faced up, by the way. Let me see. You got the Ten of Pentacles. You have the Nine of Cups. You have the Queen of Swords. Page of Swords. Seven of Swords. Magician. Moon, Knight of Pentacles, King of Cups. I cannot make this up. So this person definitely has a lot of love for you, but they're healing. They're recovering. They're taking the necessary time out to emotionally withdraw from a situation that had them really pain. You know, they were in a lot of pain. And that's why the divine is telling them that they have to um, surrender. Because I feel like, you know, they, they've discovered some things. And what they've discovered is that you are the divine feminine that they wish to have that happily ever after with. They can see themselves like, you know, sharing a home, having children, building a legacy. They can see you as their divine counterpart. This is someone that has a lot of passion, but they don't express it. They see you as wish fulfillment, but they also see you as very guarded, very protective of your energy, very protective of your heart. The body language, his arms are crossed. So it's like you're not even letting love in and you're not letting love in because you was defeated and conflicted in the past when you did. You had someone toying with your emotions, gaslighting, mentally and emotionally manipulating you. So you cut that energy off. You clean, cleared, cleansed, purged all negativity and built your spiritual strength while also, you know, listening to your intuition more, using logic and not allowing your heart, you know, to make those tough decisions someone's resorting to spying watching you from a distance wanting to communicate wanting to express something to you this is someone who's been studying you you know like i said you had um the secret admirer card which was um it was under here somewhere where is it it's right here so this is that secret admirer this is that person spying this is somebody stalking you also because it's not just a secret admirer that's watching you. You could also potentially have the other woman or the other man. Because it says mistress is what they call me. And um, I answer to it. So this could be mistress or Mr. Stress. Um, so that's a play on the word of mistress. And um, so this person also could have somebody who's stalking them. There's been a lot of betrayal, deception. This could also be like self-deception, lying. But this is someone who was selfish in the past, taking more than they were given. So they could have been breadcrumbing you along, keeping you in a state of confusion because they were so flighty and impulsive, unreliable. And I feel like, you know, definitely manipulative. But I feel like you transmuted all of that negativity, all of the pain, hurt, you know, and you've persevered through it by healing that self. You know, you persevered through it by focusing on, you know, self-love, you know, by treating yourself better than this person ever could and so when you did that you discovered a lot about not only yourself this moon represents like self-discovery discovering secrets maybe you realized somebody was being sneaky or you saw somebody in their true light and you saw them as manipulative you know and so this epiphany this aha moment allowed for you to move on but somebody is really truly trying to work their way towards you this is somebody who um who really has a lot of love and passion uh, but they've been taking their time. You know, this is somebody that takes their time to get it right. Remember, you also had good things take time to create. So this person 
is strategizing, planning, preparing. They don't rush in like the Knight of Wands, Cups, or Swords. This is somebody that really plans and strategizes because their 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 um, end goal, you know, the bottom line is long term commitment, is marriage, is building a family, a legacy. You know, this is having a, a divine counterpart, but this takes time to create. This person has a lot of love, a lot of passion. This person does watch you. If you look at his eyes, he's looking, you know, in one direction. His head is faced in another direction, but his eyes are watching. So this is that secret admirer. You know, this is somebody who I feel is still recovering and still healing. And so we have Jizza. This is called Paper Plate. So I, I feel like this person is trying to strategize, trying to figure out a way to come toward you, trying to figure out a way to um, express how they feel, to apologize even. Um, because you had to accept the apology you never received. So this person never um, rectified the situation, which is why um, they could have come off very childish, careless, um, and emotionally not on your level. But I do feel like there's been some sort of epiphanies, some sort of downloads. I feel that they communicate and have extended themselves um, to you um, and by other means. But ex be prepared, Scorpios. You have a lot of wish fulfillment, a lot of blessings, blessings, abundance, opulence, expansion, growth, love. A lot of beautiful things are coming in. And I feel it's doing part to, you know, just, you know, overcoming a lot of the difficulties in your past. But this is your reading, beloveds. I hope that the message has resonated. If you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like, share, subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. If you are new, I hope you stay a while. And if you are returning, you already know what it is, beloveds. Love is love is love. Until next time, I send a big fat ashe. Peace.